this is my cat. His name is Bamboo. Hey, Bam, you gonna say hello? Ah! Most of the time, he's a pretty pleasant fella to be around. Yeah, he does this and this and this. What are you doing? And he shreds toilet roll, and he fell in the goddamn bath and looked like a rat for an afternoon. But by and large, he's cool. Whilst compiling all your toy stories for part two of the Furby video, I thought I'd remind myself that Bamboo could be a lot worse by looking through Reddit threads such as these. My dog dug up my neighbour's cable line on Super Bowl Sunday when they had a big crowd coming over. My cat pissed on the wedding dress in the centre the day before the wedding. My cat once caught a falcon, but didn't kill him. He dragged the bird into the house and set him free. Great, thanks Carlos. Dog got into the bathroom trash can and decorated my body while I was asleep with shredded bits of used tampons. Thanksgiving morning, my fat ass dog stuffed herself through someone's cat door and stole a marinating roast beef. Came home with it and tried to hide it. Attacked a man dressed as Santa, was asked to leave PetSmart and not return. Humped a baby carriage while a baby was inside it. Shit on the ceiling. I have no clue how. I had a black lab who would always be bringing things home that he found, more like stole from around the neighbourhood. One day he came home with a child's prosthetic leg with shoe attached. We were horrified, checked around and no one in our immediate neighbourhood claimed it. We took it to a community centre about half a mile away and hoped that someone might find out who is missing their leg. The damn dog went and stole it again and brought it back home. I have two cats. One once peed on my housemate's bed while my housemate was in it, and the other brought a live pigeon into the house and murdered it in my living room while I was in the middle of a phone interview. My female dachshund ate all of my birth control pills and two days later started humping our male dachshund to assert her dominance. Projectile vomited off the side of the bed, exorcist style. Then looked at his bath like, oh, gross, how can you live this way? I left my little dog at my old apartment and went to the new house to get some things done. There was nothing in the apartment except for a few of his toys and a bowl of water. He didn't touch the toys, instead he shredded the Venetian blinds in the bedroom. My dog bit a door-to-door -door salesman, right in the testicles. My kitten took a shit on a book my friend bought me about house training a cat. My husband and I stayed overnight at my parents one Christmas. I just had a baby, so we were using condoms for protection. My father's new puppy dug through the trash and pulled out our used condom. My dad picked her up and saw she was chewing something. He reached into her mouth and pulled out a used rubber, load still in it. Last year, two days before Christmas, I came home to a disaster. My dog had shredded all of the presents, packages and contents. The one thing she didn't destroy? Her Christmas present, which had dog treats inside. My dog ate all my shoes and Xmas decorations, like a styrofoam Santa and reindeer with lights when he was a big pup. Also peed on a guy's wheelchair. Cat turned off my computer in the middle of a 14-14 Counter-Strike Global Offensive match. My dog herded five sheep into the ocean. They just disappeared into the sea. He caught a bush cockroach. Australia's native cockroach species, so naturally they are massive, and brought it into the bedroom. I thought I'd Google bush cockroaches, I mean they can't be that big. Jesus Christ! I was laying in my bed as I heard a sparkling sound. My cat was standing there and just casually pissing in a wall socket. My dog once turned on the gas on the stove when I wasn't home. Luckily I came back within the hour, otherwise he probably would have killed himself and burned the house down. Plugged the sink, turned on the faucet, and ended up flooding the basement. When I showered, he managed to throw a tablecloth on a burning candle. My cat chewed through my dad's oxygen cord while he was sleeping on three separate occasions. Yeah, we're pretty sure he's trying to off him. Humped my grandma in front of the whole family. Shit in my Lego box. Well, my dog is a racist. He only barks at Asians. And chewed my mum's Shania Twain ticket. No. My cat caught a mouse outside, brought it into the house and let it go. In the bed. I was woken up by her chasing it up and down my spine. My old roommates had a big sweet dog. I'm not entirely sure if the dog killed a rabbit, but I do know that he kept bringing pieces of it in. It started with the head, which he brought in during a party and dropped it in the middle of the floor, causing everyone to start screaming. My cat Taxi has single-handedly destroyed a tile in my kitchen by throwing a bottle onto it and it has climbed in my antique Garuda statue, destroying the wings. I sleep with on my side, with my arms stretched out in front of me and a few weeks after I got my youngest cat I woke to him simultaneously attacking my fingers and farting directly into my face. My cat sprayed into my PC fan on the side of the case. It corroded everything that is of value. I got the PC for my 21st birthday and I had it for a few weeks. I was left with one stick of working RAM. At least you were left with the memory. My dog jumped up onto the bed after we got a new puppy, looked me dead in the eye and then proceeded to take the largest piss of her little life all over my material 
tress literally as I was about to get in bed after a 20 hour day. That's a nice story there, thank you. Ask about my balls. My birds got out of the cage, flew right on over to my favourite blanket and proceeded to violate it with unstoppable discharge from the depths of their birdie bowels. Thanks massive swinging cock. Owned a rat once. It pissed on me, so I named it Piss. My snake spray shat my now boyfriend the first night he stayed over to watch a movie. Had a sulphur crested cockatoo rescue in the house for a few months. Made a shepherd's pie, took forever to make and was my pride and joy I was going to live off for the week. It was massive. Left it in the kitchen to cool until I heard excited squawking. The cockatoo flew into it and was treating it like a bird bath, dunking his head and flapping his wings in the gravy, then shitting it. I have an African grey power. He managed to find our downstairs telephone interconnect and disconnect the phone line. We still haven't managed to fix the move of this line two years later. I know it's weird, but I sleep with my bird sometimes. She sleeps in my neck. One time I wake up and couldn't open my left eye. Turns out she shat in it. Crawled on me while I was asleep and bit my nose, then flew away squawking triumphantly. Sorry, squaking triumphantly. I was peeing with the door open. Dude. And my bunny came hopping in the room. I said, you know, hello and such. Bunny looked at my pee stream and before I knew it, she jumped into the toilet bowl. Such horror. As she was sitting in there chest deep in gross toilet pee water and getting splattered with fresh pee still as I didn't have enough time to stop the hose without hitting her stupid dumb face with my stupid dumb wiener pee. Brought my hedgehog to my friend's house. She wandered the floor for a bit. I know this isn't necessarily a misspelling or grammar video, but uh, bead adorable for about three minutes. Then took a shit in the corner of his kitchen. So I used to have this ball python. He'd often crawl on me and curl up for warmth. On this particular occasion, he came sniffing around my face right as I yawned. When I did, a small tear came out of my eye, which he licked. A second later, he latched onto my eyebrow like it was some furry little rodent. I sat right up holding the four foot snake straight off my face. He let go after a few seconds and we didn't talk for the rest of the day. My fish just sits there and judges me silently. A friend of mine had a dog that ate one of her brother's G.I. Joe dolls. She, the dog, was fine, but the next time she pooped, all that was left of the doll was one arm holding a grenade sticking up out of the turd. My cat knocked the urn containing the ashes of my mother-in-law off the mantle. Well, I took my dog, a 14-month-old Rhodesian Ridgeback, into work yesterday for the first time. She proceeded to piss in my boss's office twice. I had a pair of brown Converse sneakers, not the Chuck Taylors, and they were my favourite pair of shoes. My Great Dane chewed one of them up, but left the other one to mock me. My old cat jumped up on the stove and pissed in my roommate's birthday cake. Our cat shit into the sound hole of my guitar. This. This. My old pup popped my parents' waterbed. My mum had a flower in her high school yearbook that my dad gave her in the 70s when they first started dating. Our dog sniffed at the flower and ate it. Ripped up two couches! My dog broke a glass sliding door, four pairs of 3D glasses, one PS3 remote, one N64 remote, two Wiimotes with nunchucks, an ungodly amount of paper towel and pencils. My dog once jizzed on my brother's bed. Dog hid half a stick of butter in the couch cushion very effectively. Mother-in-law found it when she sat down. The next door neighbour's kid was terrified of dogs. We had a big Labrador and whenever he came near the kid would cross his arms and freeze. The dog just pissed on his legs as he stood there frozen. My dog bit through some leashes when he was a puppy. One day he got loose on a walk, stole the baseball that was in play at a high school game and ran victory laps around the diamond with a ball in his mouth until someone caught him. Out on a walk, dog is acting normal through the whole walk, get home and the dog bolts upstairs to wherever. After a moment, I walk upstairs to get something and hear the dog chew on on something under the bed, so I investigate. I reach under the bed and pull it out, only to find it's a crack pipe. Somehow, somewhere along our walk, the dog had found it and hid it in her mouth and proceeded to sneakily act like everything was kosher until we got home when ran and hid from us. My cat wanted pets at some random time in the middle of the night. After waking up both of us, my wife shoved him off the bed, so he jumped back up and proceeded to teabag her. Literally rubbed his little cat sack across her face. In middle school, I used to have a cat. The worst thing I can think of that he did was steal all the potatoes out of our pantry and hide them under my mum's bed. What the heck? That sounds like a fucking nursery rhyme or something. My dog shit on my passenger seat when I was on a date. I'm lactose intolerant, but love chocolate, so I spent a lot of time with digestive problems. One time, a few Easter's ago, I was lying on my back in bed nursing an angry chocolate belly, as I call it, and my beautiful, built-like-a-brick shithouse Persian cross was sat on top of the wardrobe next to the bed. 
style. She swan dives off the wardrobe onto my stomach, causing me to vomit all over my bed. My boy cat bites my nipples to wake me up at 4am. Chow Chow bit my hand. I had to go to the ER for a class 3 dog bite, is what they called it. This was over a sock. This next post is a bit odd, it's sort of written like a beat poem. My new dog. I bought this a week ago. I just want to say that one night I was going for dinner outside. My dog was in his small house. There was darkness of night. He could not saw me, but suddenly he come my near and hang me with his teeth. Oh my God, his teeth was very hard. My girlfriend and I were having sex doggy style when her dog got under us and started licking my balls. <laughs> what the fuck? My beagle got loose, jumped into my neighbor's pond and ate their expensive koi. But why they have the ball part? Once when I was young, our cat aborted its babies in my bed while I was sleeping. So I therapied through that. When my poodle was a puppy, she was playing and pulled the emergency string thing in the wall of our apartment, setting off the alarm in the middle of the night. The neighbors called the cops, not to check on us, but to file a noise complaint. My after school club I went to when I was maybe 9 or 10 was having a pet show where we could bring in our various animals and show everyone all of the cool tricks they could do. We'd just gotten our first dog a few years ago and I didn't have many friends of that age and figured if I bring in my dog and show off all of her amazing tricks, the standard sit, stay, speak, etc, I would suddenly be swarmed with new best friends. Come my turn, my dog and I take the stage and I'm holding treats over her head trying to get her to speak. She is generally disinterested and instead takes a huge sloppy rancid shit all over the stage, which I had to clean up in front of everyone. This story is really too long to read out in its entirety, but thankfully you only need to see one line to get the gist. When I get to the living room, my dog Thaddeus is munching on this dildo in front of all these women. I have a lasser apso mix, my in-laws have a golden doodle. In-laws dog relaxing on floor, my dog goes over to her and proceeds to fuck her directly in the face. My friend has two male cats who are deeply in love with each other. They're too fat and lazy to have kitty sex though, so they just cuddle and lick each other's assholes. Her mum is super Christian and anti-gay, and we're both pretty sure she's waiting for the cats to kick the bucket. They're both about 10, so good luck there. I love Hunter and Bubba. Ate a bunch of used aquarium sand. All that time he dug a hole through the bathroom door. All when he released all the other dogs and relaxed in the front yard while they went swimming in a pond a mile away. My pug ate a full bag of pistachios and felt like a beanbag for a week. My dog ate an iPhone cable. It apparently didn't digest because it was dangling out of his arsehole the next day. My wife will say that the worst thing he's done is eat two dozen lemon cupcakes that she was going to bring to an engagement party 30 minutes before she was to leave. My dog dog drank an entire bottle of baby oil. It went through her like a bullet train. She ate those blue tablets that go in the toilet and turn the toilet water blue, proceeded to shit bright blue shit nuggets all over the floor. Our overly hyper hell dog Spitz named Warlock once ate 250 bucks in $50 bills that fell out of a friend's pocket while he was crashing on our couch. Had a 100 plus pound Doberman and while we were out he ate the wall. Not a corner where he could wrap his math around. He ate the flat part of a wall. This was about 10 years ago and to this day I have no idea idea how he managed to do it. During my bar mitzvah, my dog ate a Nerf football. My dog ate a full box of latex gloves. Ate his marriage certificate. One of my disposed pads. My wife's hearing aids. My GameCube memory card. An approximately 130 year old Italian chessboard. The baby's first Christmas ornament. My husband's patent paperwork. Eat my fucking pizza. My pit bull ate my passport three days before I was leaving for the Caribbean. We bought an aerosol can of smelly stuff that stops a dog from chewing things. Our dog chewed the can. Once he pulled a full pot roast off the kitchen counter while he was home alone, at the entire thing and then vomited into the couch. My mutt, a Great Dane Labrador mix, once ate some kind of plastic. When it finally made its way through him, it got stuck in his ass and he couldn't get it out. Finally, he reaches around with his head, pulls the plastic out of his ass and proceeds to eat it all over again. When my dog was a puppy, she used to swallow pebbles. She would poop and cry and I'd have to put on a latex glove and pull it out of her ass. One day she was squatting and crying, so I sighed and put on my glove. I pulled out an intact condom. I then immediately threw up and she tried to eat that too. As you can possibly tell for the final part of this video we're moving into more visceral stories so if you're watching this whilst eating dinner maybe put the plate aside for a couple of minutes. My dog shit on the floor and the Roomba smeared it all over. Stepped in his own poo in the litter box and tracked it through the house. I call it poop footing. Et bad ham. Had diarrhea, et diarrhea, vomited the diarrhea all over my girlfriend's computer bag. I had a rescue cat take watery shits in about $300 worth of shoes. 
in one day. And my cat, when we have displeased him, likes to poop behind the front door. That way, when we come home and open the door, we smear poop all over the underside of the door and create an arc of smashed poop on the floor. My dog puked on the couch and then took a blanket and covered it, complete with tucking blanket into couch and covering with pillows. I discovered this when pulling the blanket over myself. Immediately after doing the pre-inspection clean of our old apartment, getting ready to move out, my dog took a giant runny poop on the carpet while walking from the bathroom to the bedroom, making eye contact with me the entire time. Then she proceeded to throw up like 15 times in her kennel out of stress. My cat shot on my mother's shoulder while we were driving. A friend of mine was visiting and my dog took a shit in their duffel bag. My friend wouldn't discover this until they were unpacking their things after their 8 hour drive home. My cat sneezed and diarrhea shit on my wife's alarm clock. We didn't realise this had happened until the alarm went off and she hit snooze. Worst cat moment? The wombo combo. Took a big wet shit in a litter box but didn't bury it. The smell hit me immediately. She hissed at her own poop, I can only assume because of the size, then immediately puked on two separate rugs and then flopped down like nothing happened. This all happened in the span of 20 seconds. My cat once smeared poop on my computer screen because I wasn't paying attention to her. While camping, my dog bathed into my open, snoring mouth. Woke me up by being sick into my ass crack. We had a kitten named Charlie. My brother was playing with Charlie and was laying down, holding the cat above him. Charlie took a shit, and I don't know the details, but some of the shit got inside of my brother's nose. My dog dog was puked and did diarrhea on the stairs, then slipped in the shit puke, then fell down the stairs and got covered in it, then he began to eat the shit puke, and then my other dog started licking the shit puke dog's ass. I tell you, some of these things are hard to read. Well, one of my cats just decided to get on my keyboard for attention. When she did, she opened another tab to the front page of Reddit and then opened a video of tapeworm coming out of a cam girl's butt. What? My dog has a bad chicken allergy. We discovered this by letting her have chicken one day. She later went to use the bathroom, got spooked by a cow across the road and barked at it. Every time she woofed, she shat a jet of liquid hell out of her ass. It splattered all over my legs and shoes. I wasn't sure whether to laugh or throw up, so I just sat there. My senile dog took a crap behind the computer rolling chair. He also chomped one of his craps and liked to tug a ward out of his mouth. Always took a crap in the vet's office in protest. His craps were not your normal craps. They stunk up the whole house for hours. It was an indescribable stench from hell. One time he peed on a baby. But the worst thing he's ever done was leave me alone to face this world without him. Rest in peace, Alvin. You're heavily missed. Indeed, a huge amount of Redditors posted that the worst thing their pet did was go and bloody die on them. Yes, they eat our food and destroy our things and literally shit on our faces. But even when it seems like these pets of ours might be the embodiments of pure evil, We'd miss them if they weren't around, eh? Hey? Ah!